This is David Kirkpatrick, the Cairo Bureau Chief of the New York Times. I'm here in Cairo at the beginning of a historic day. Millions of people are expected to take the streets today here and in other cities around Egypt in the day of massive protests demanding the ouster of Egyptian strongman Hosni Mubarak. And last night, for the first time in 30 years, he appeared to blink. The army went on television and said, we are not going to use force against people demonstrating peacefully, and we, we see that they have legitimate demands. Very shortly thereafter, his hand-picked vice president and right-hand man said, I am now ready to negotiate with the opposition. So this could be the sign of a capitulation or a big change. Now, at the same time, I talked to a Western diplomat this morning who said, look, President Mubarak is, has let people take to the streets, he's letting people demonstrate and have their fun in Tahrir Square, but he's not doing any of the things that would allow the people of Egypt to go on with their lives. The economy here remains ground to a halt. There's no internet access. Uh, there are food shortages, ATM machines are running out of money, there are gas shortages, and he shows no sign that he wants to do anything meaningful to move beyond this crisis. I just got back from Tunisia last week, and I, I have to say the situation here feels very much like Tunisia on the eve of the departure, departure of their dictator, uh, President Ben Ali. You have people in the street already demonstrating and celebrating as though President Mubarak has already gone. This is David Kirkpatrick, the Cairo Bureau Chief of the New York Times.